Last night was an emotional one at the Honey Bowl in Uvalde. The stands were packed as the Coyotes won their home opener against Eagle Pass win 34 to 28. That's right. It was the first high school football game in Uvalde since the tragedy at Robb Elementary in Maine. KSAT 12's Andrew Seely was the sideline reporter for our live stream last night and has more. We knew Friday night in Uvalde was going to be special, but what we got on the field was even more remarkable. Game tied at 28 late in the fourth quarter. The Coyotes rallied thanks to an incredible play from Jonathan Jimenez, cutting back against the grain to set up the game-winning touchdown with 17 seconds left on the clock. He's coming back. He's coming back. How did he break out of that pile? He's got room to run. He's got blockers in front of the quarterback. He's out of the 40, the 35, the 30. Oh, he made his inside step. He's running step, out of gas. And he's out of bounds at the 10-yard oh. line. It wasn't supposed to be a cutback. I thought it was over. I turned, I turned to our offensive coordinator and said, we're going to run it out and go to overtime. And next thing I know, the little fort's running down our sideline. So JJ's a great athlete, and when he seasons and gets in the open field, I just hope nobody was going to block in the back or something like that, because once he gets loose, he's always got a chance. What happened next was almost a foregone conclusion, but it was no less spectacular. 17 seconds remaining. Can they pull off this incredible victory? And into the end zone they go, and it's gone! Touchdown, Uvalde! Number Devin. five, Devin Franklin with the reception led perfectly by Brody Carnes for the touchdown. Junior John Elizondo ended the game with a sack on the next drive and on a night that honored the 50th anniversary of the Coyotes' 1972 state championship, Uvalde played like champions to earn the 600th win in program history. Came out here and we fought. We fought our hardest, but we never gave up. And, you know, that was just what this town needed. And these needed this win. It's an amazing place to live, an amazing place to coach. That was crazy. And now, you know, with all the distractions today, the way they played, especially the second half, and to come back like that, I feel like you can play with anybody now. For Good Morning San Antonio, I'm Andrew Seeley.